Well, good morning. It's Wednesday. It's 9.09. You know, all this last season, we've been talking a lot about what's happening in the news here in Milwaukee, mostly focused on what's happening in transit, whether we've seen bridges crumbling at our toes or whether we've seen debates on whether high-speed rail is going to find its way to Milwaukee. It's been a hot topic. And this morning, I've decided to invite Steve Glynn into the Radio Milwaukee studios. He's the president of Sprinkler, a community of Milwaukee creative, marketing, and technical professionals who gather on a regular basis to share their experiences, best practices, and new ideas to help utilize this knowledge to help Milwaukee grow and move forward. Steve, thank you so very much for coming in station this morning, man. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks. It's great to be here. So, you know, I, I know you through Sprinkler, but I have to say, you know, you're involved in a lot of different organizations and things. And, and most recently, you've had some really cool meetups uh, talking about, we're talking about transit, really. Uh, uh, Regional Transit Authority legislation is, is right around the corner here. Thursday looks like it could be the day that it moves out of committee and might even go up for vote. Um, this has been a hot topic, a discussion. Um, could you just kind of maybe rewind us a few months and tell us about some of the things that you've been involved in to kind of gain awareness about what's happening here in this area? Sure. Yeah, we've uh, been engaging our group, so the Sprinkler community, the Launch Milwaukee community, and really just getting them up to speed on what this whole issue is or, or what they need to know, um, whether they're for or against it, right. open forums, very casual, more informational sessions. Um, and, of course, we're trying to drive support here for the issue. But you said it. Um there's a, a regional transit authority or the RTA legislation right now that is up for discussion, and um, we're hoping to move that forward so that we grab a dedicated source of funding for transit um, and for jobs and economic development. Mm-hmm. And then once again, like I said in our introduction, there's been debate back and forth, and like you said, whether it's pro or con, the discussion needs to happen. We need to get folks out there to be informed because making an informed decision is really what's going to be best for us. But a question comes to my mind immediately. And, and, you know, I'm thinking I'm in my car right now. I'm driving from, you know, wherever I'm at into the city or out of the city to work. Uh, you know, why does this affect me? I've already got my transit taken care of every day. You know, why? Right. what do I care? <laughs> right. And and that's a common question we get. And so we try to tell people this isn't a, a cars versus bus issue. Um, this is economic development. This is access to jobs. Mm-hmm. This is students getting to school people participating in their community. So um, in giving people options to get around the city and, and cities around us. So, um, you know, you you may continue to choose to drive, but 40,000 or so jobs have been impacted already or yeah. access to the 40,000 jobs because of cuts and, and, and routes. And, and so uh, I think the projected number in a few years can reach up to 100,000. So yeah, keep your car, but you know there's people that don't have cars right. and they don't have an option, and they've got to get to these jobs. And you and I were speaking earlier before we got on the air about how you know look at Racine as an example of an area where, give me again what you were saying that there's so many thousands of jobs that are not being taken up right now. I, yeah. I'm sorry, bring me yeah. back to that. So uh, Mayor Dickert and Racine uh, at the last public hearing uh, was talking about the 17 percent unemployment rate right. in his city. And 20 minutes away at Pesiris, they've just announced uh, creation of hundreds of jobs. Right. And his people can't get there. They don't have a way there. And, and he made a great point, too. You know, tell someone who doesn't have a job and doesn't have money to buy a car. Right. They can't. They need <laughs> public transportation to move within this region and have access to good jobs. Excellent. Once again, if you're just tuning in, we've got Steve Glynn in the studio. We're talking about public transportation, the regional regional transit authority. A lot of things are bubbling up, and this week it looks like it's going to be a, a big week in the legislature as we try to move forward. Now, you guys have had some meetups about this to discuss this. I think that's kind of part of the sprinkler way. Right. Um, can you tell us about how these have gone and what kind of has developed out of these meetings? Yeah, they've gone really well, um, and we've had people uh, – from you know, being for, being against, and mm-hmm. being somewhere in between, not really knowing what they should be, which that's the purpose of the meetups. Get people together, get them educated on the issue, let them make the right choice. And and really the group that we read, so you know, students, uh, young professionals, entrepreneurs, typically don't go to a public hearing in the middle right. of the day. <laughs> so we bring the issue to them. Uh, we've had meetups at night. Uh, the last one that focused on transit where we had a panel there was at Hanson Dodge, which is a great place for yeah. creatives to get together. Um, we've been running these transit lunches. So just a way to give, you know, get free pizza right. and, and soda and, and talk about transit and, and what the issues are. 
um, and try and make it um, not only uh, try and make it a little more engaging, a little yeah. more fun for people to, to get involved. If this is kind of sparking my interest, uh, if I'm, you know, if, if I feel like, you know, hey, this is something I want to get into. Do you have anything cool coming up? Anything that's going to spark uh, folks to kind of get involved and find a way to network with you? Yeah, uh uh, sort of an impromptu challenge came out of the office, our offices, the, uh, last week where um, I decided that it, be, given that tomorrow is a big day and uh, legislators need to hear from us, from you, um, the audience, uh, I, I threw out an offer that if we can drive 100 calls, so this is our 100 calls for transit okay. campaign, 100 calls um, yesterday and today, so we had great response yesterday, but still want to make that big push today leading into tomorrow. Um, I will actually shave my head or someone will shave it for me. <laughs> um, and we'll do that next Tuesday, uh, August, or April 6th at Transfer Pizza. That's our next transit lunch wow. uh, at noon. So we'll, we'll find someone that will want to shave my head. And I'm sure that we'll won't be it. hard to find a friend or no, a coworker. I'm a little worried, actually. To shave so. your head. Well, if you, you can't see him right now, but this guy's, this gentleman has a beautiful head of hair. <laughs> so this will be quite an interesting thing. Uh, so launchmilwaukee.com, a great place to go. We can find out more information about how you can get Steve's head to become a uh, shaven and uh once again more importantly uh you know discuss these topics of transit here in in this region how it affects us um if you want to find out facts information launchmilwaukee.com great resource and uh you know steve i just want to thank you for coming in and letting our listeners know what you've been up to what's happening and how we can get more yeah, informed on you're this. welcome thanks a lot i appreciate it all right well we'll continue the music here we've got music on the way from corinne bailey ray the-